News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. Welcome back, 20 after 4, and a really nice Thursday afternoon. At least it's sunshiny, it's still kind of cold. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together because we're welcoming some Canadian Olympians into the studio. Uh, the three Dufour Lapointe sisters are here, so there's Maxime, uh, there's Justine, and there's Chloe. Did I get that right? Chloe and Justine. Yep. Okay. Three very, very attractive young ladies who are here, but more importantly, three ladies who did uh, an amazing job for this country. Uh, winning a gold and a silver in Sochi. Uh, first of all, welcome. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank I you, don't really know where to start, so I'm going to go to the old timer, and that's uh, Maxime, who's all of 25 years old. Uh, we were talking during the break. You started doing this when you were how old? I was 12. Yeah. And did you did you do it because it was fun, or did you do it because you were sort of pushed into this and you thought, well, I got to do something. I might as well do this. Oh uh, well, we were all very adventurous skiers. Uh, I started at the age of three years old, and we had some friends doing mogul skiing. And I watched his competition, and I just thought, oh, that looks that looks fun. Uh, so I convinced my parents to let me try. And it all started from there. It looked fun. I had some friends already doing it. So it was all about just trying new things. So was this the same idea? Like, I mean, where did you live when you were doing this? Did you have ski hills close by? We always lived in Montreal. So we would go into the Laurentian. Yeah, which is like an hour, 45 right. minutes. And I mean, I, I, moguls is the kind of thing, I watch people do moguls and I have to turn away because I can't imagine the damage you're doing to your knees and stuff like this. It looks like you won't be able to walk when you're done. Is it that bad? No, no. actually it's, um, when we're skiing in the mogul, it's not only the knee who get the impact, it's more all the body, uh, the lower back. Yeah. And it's more the legs who help you really going that deep and all the strength that you have, it's all in your legs and your upper body. So the knee is more like, a, it's it's a dance, I would say. <laughs> We're just absorbing yeah, well, with our like body. It looks like shock absorbers your knees, right? Yeah. yeah. But we, we gotta... train hard at the gym, so we we avoid getting uh, <laughs> injuries, but knock on wood. But what do you do for something like that? I'm just curious, for someone's listening and saying, I want to maybe ski moguls, like what do you train at the gym? Do you just do a regular workout? Do you work out something specifically for your legs because you know the pounding you're going to take? It's really specific. Our trainer is Paul Gagne. Uh, he trains a lot of uh, hockey player and uh, we train with hockey player actually. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's oh, pretty much cool. the same because they go on ice 30 seconds and they come back. Right. So. Our sport is the same. It's a 30 second really intense and then like you go out and take the chair and all that stuff. But I mean, we the, we do some training with trampolines to absorb, to have the, the fluidity in the muggles. Right. So it's pretty close to what we do in the muggles. Now, I'm, I'm curious because of course much was made of this during the Olympics. It's one thing to have someone from here win or a couple of sisters. There's three of you. I'm guessing this is the only threesome in the world in any kind of competition. Do you know of another? Oh yeah, we, uh, like everybody in the media kind of looked into it. They found five sets of siblings that were three at the games. Really? And it, actually in Sochi, there were the three Wells brothers. Um, and there were actually- But it's, it's from but, a long time ago. Yeah, it's a long time ago. And I think it's definitely part of history as well. <laughs> So you, you guys are not that far apart in age. It's a couple of years, like four years, five years, whatever. You started doing this. Did you two sort of look at her and go, that looks like fun. I want to do that. I can do it. Was it competitive? Did you think I could do it better than she can do it? It, it wasn't a competition. It was uh, more a family thing, I guess. And we were like, because we saw Maxim doing the sport, which was really cool to our, us, we say like, we want to do the same. And we follow her and... She was so great and so determined that we decided to do the same and uh, push ourselves. But it it's so health, a healthy competition that mm -hmm. we have between us. It's, it's, yeah. So it was a family thing. You guys all went together at some point. You all started skiing mm -hmm. together. My parent, my my mother was just happy that we were all yeah, doing the same sure. thing, less traveling. Yeah, no one for hockey, no one for volleyball, just all of you put them on the mountain and let them go. Did you guys, at any point, were you ever, did you get hurt? Was there injuries along the way? Uh, well, we're really lucky, again, touching wood, but um, we, we got couples of little injury, like ankle, uh, thumb, uh, thumbs, thumbs, thumbs yeah. and other, like, small things like that. Um, That's part of the sport. Yeah. But the I think the way you prepare yourself physically is the best way to to avoid injuries and and as well it's how you treat your body so, you know yeah. training is something but uh, resting is just yeah, as sure. much important so you get the Sochi of course the whole country is pulling for you because it's such a great story plus you're from here so everyone in Montreal and Quebec is really excited 
What was it like when you actually got involved in the competition? Did you talk to each other? Was it Were you completely focused, like, I have to do my run, I'm not going to talk to my sister or anything else? What was that like? Uh, well, on the mogul course, we, like, do our thing. It's an individual sport, so um, everybody has their, their home plan, and we follow and we stick to that with the coaches. And um, if we have trouble after ski, we, we tell each other and we can help, of course. But, um, yeah, on the slope, it's like... We're just focused focus, on what yeah. we have to do. And, and is there any kind of like, she's the older sister, let's go to her, get advice from her, or does that happen? Um, I think we got, each of us have different experiences. And um, it's good that, for example, Chloe went to the Olympic game at Vancouver. She finished fifth. So that way she was able to tell us some tricky okay. thing about the next Olympic game. Mm -hmm. Something that we didn't know, me and Max, because it was her first one. So this is kind of uh, how we share our experience together. And what was it like? I mean, you guys won a gold and a silver, which is unbelievable. What was it like when you won that gold medal? When you crossed that line, did you know you'd already won the gold medal? No. I think I think we just knew. And when we cross the line, you know that you're satisfied of your run. But at the end, it's in the hand of the judges. So we just sweating there, yeah, exactly. so exciting <laughs> and satisfied of what you've done and waiting for the score so like you know that it feels right it felt right you, you know that you have done what you, you sh what you set out yeah, to do right exactly and then you're waiting because there's points involved to see where you finish what was it like when you found out you won um do we, you remember? It, uh, I remember i remember seeing remember. justine's face going like <gasps> Like, like was it was it, was it, no, just like frozen. She yeah. was. It wasn't like joy at first. It was just speechless, deep surprise. Yeah, I remember I, I, at the billboard right in front of me, I look at Chloe in into her eyes, and I was like, I I I, I can't it believe it. Is it true? Is it real yeah. true? Like pinch me, I'm dreaming. Yeah, yeah, it's it's insane. And for you, it, it was pretty much the same. We were look at it, each other, and we're like. Oh. Um, what's what going just, on? What? what just happening? Like, it's... what just happened? We were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> and now, so the, here you have a gold and a silver. How did you, you did how, how did you do this one? I finished 12th at the, the Olympic Games. That was a disappointment for you? No. Um, I made a mistake, and that was, at, in some ways, like, a disapp not fun. It's yeah. never fun to right. do a mistake. But... The whole process to get to the Olympic was such a victory for me. Um, the way I've grown and learned. And then at the Games, I had a plan. I followed it. It was the right one. And in that run where I did a mistake, uh, I I pushed my limits. I was I was doing my plan again, right. skiing faster, and being kind of bold in my ski, which I know would took me to the top mm -hmm. six and then the next round for medal uh but i did a mistake that time and usually i don't but it happens yeah, that's what happens in one day right exactly so cool. i'm just very happy and proud of myself throughout my journey as we are for you as well incredibly mm -hmm. proud and uh i can't believe it it's, it's first of all it's terrific to meet you because i watch this on tv too it's like wow you're really here <laughs> uh thank you so much for coming in today i know you guys are still competing you're back from world cup stuff you get some time off now yeah, uh, well, right now we're pretty much, we're really busy. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Outside of doing radio interviews. <laughs> really? I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, we don't have any time right now for us. No time. No time. Can't sleep. Wow. <laughs> thank God I didn't go to the Olympics. Ladies, thank you so much. It's terrific to meet thank you. you. And again, on behalf thank of all you. Canadians, congratulations to thank you. We're going to so take much. our break. We'll be right back.